Hi, this is just a quick intro to the water bird. So, myself, John Miskos, engineer, I've created this bird simply just to tell me when my plant needs water. So I'm pretty bad at remembering this. So I figured why not make it make a little piece of electronics to remind me to do that. So I didn't want anything too obtrusive, so I thought just a cute little bird would do. What this bird does is basically when the plant needs water, it tweets. So it's gone to sleep for a little bit here, <laughs> but it's not too far away. And it will continue doing this tweeting periodically, just to let you know. Something, something cute and short, but when it's got water, you see the light flashes and it's quite content. There it goes. So I'm just going to step through a little bit about the kit, um, a little bit about the bird, um, just so that you get a little bit of an understanding. So this bird here, and we'll take out the battery so it doesn't keep tweeting at us. Yes, yes. Um, basically, it just consists of a small little coin cell, just to give it the energy that it needs, a microcontroller, so the brains of the operation, uh, a piezo so that it can tweet at us, a button to tell us, tell us um, to tell it, should I say, what is dry. So uh, you would put it into the plant um, at the start, when it is dry, push the button to say, this is when I want to get notified, and then put in some water. It will go to sleep, and when it gets to that level of dryness again, it will, it will start tweeting. The two legs are actually uh, two pieces of steel that um, are detecting how much current is passing through it. And so this allows us to detect how dry the water, how dry the soil is at any time. Little transistor there because the signal between the legs is very very small and you can also see that um, the bird shape itself is the circuit board. So inside there is a little electrical connections you can see them running around um, and that links up all the components. So let's have a look at the kit so this comes assembled or to be assembled by yourself. So first off, the instructions are on the website, tinkerelectric.com slash watermebird. And let's have a look at the parts that are inside the kit. Let's tip them all out. It's easier this way. So we've got the printed circuit board or PCB. That's double sided. And you can see, I didn't just normally route the traces, I did a little bit um, loopy and a little bit more artistic. So um, it was a little bit different. I was talking to the fabrication house about how to do this and they were quite okay with that. Um, so I got it done in the shape of a bird, why not? So we've got a few resistors. There's two different types. They're marked out in the, in the text. The legs, which uh, go into this terminal block and they screw in. LED for its eye. The battery with a little bit of tape on it so that it doesn't conduct in the packet. The battery holder, so the coin cell holder. The transistor for the for amplifying the signal. The button on the tail to tell it when it needs uh, what dry is, the holder, and the brain, the microcontroller this one is. So I've already programmed the, um, the code that you need on it, so all you need to do is solder it together and it will run. And finally, the buzzer. The buzzer goes in there. So that's just a short introduction um, to the water me, bird, water me Bird. To be able to put together the kit you will need soldering iron, solder, a small screwdriver, and to make things easy, side cutters and pliers. Cool, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. This is John Miskos for Tinker Electric. Bye.